Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor, and welcome to the first episode of the Halloween season of Who'd Win and Why. And this time we got Scarecrow going up against Mysterio, another Batman vs. Spider-Man debate. Now, before I move on, there are a few things I want to say. The first thing is that you may have noticed that the surrounding environment is a bit darker than it usually is, and that is on purpose. This is for the Halloween season. I thought I would just do something that gave, like, an extra effect, you know, like, just something cool, something different, you know, for a special season like this. Another thing you may have, or at least should have noticed, is that I am actually wearing a costume. I even have a cape. You know, I am obviously dressed up as Batman. Um, again, this isn't for comedic reasons at all or anything like that. It's just because I thought it would be appropriate. Maybe it's a bit distracting. Acting. I don't know, but I just thought I might do it at least for this first episode. Um, but you know what? That's not what this episode is about. This episode is about Scarecrow going up against Mysterio. So, who'd win and why? Let's find out. So first I'm going to talk about Scarecrow. Now Scarecrow is obviously most known for his fear toxin or his fear gas. Now this can be ejected through many different parts of his suit and his suit is obviously um, designed to strike fear into the hearts of his opponents. But the main way that he strikes fear into the hearts of his opponents is by using the fear enhancing toxin. Now whenever someone inhales this toxin they immediately like it's like a, it's like a hallucinogen. It's like they immediately well yeah an hallucinogenic drug kind of. They see their own um, worst fear. Um, so basically anyone who inhales this, even Kryptonians, it's tough enough to do this to Kryptonians, like Superman and characters like those. So, you know, anyone who inhales it pretty much is going to see their worst fears. Kind of like the Joker toxin in the sense that, like, it takes effect immediately and also that you're kind of screwed because then you're not really focusing on the fight anymore. You're focusing on your worst fear. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the main thing that Scarecrow has. It's, he doesn't do a lot of fighting, though he does know some martial arts, including, um, so, like, uh, to, a ver to a degree, he knows some kung fu. Um, I believe he also uses his long limbs, like his long arms and his long legs, to his advantage while fighting. I think it's something like that. Um, he also, if he ever needs to um, actually, like, go fist to fist, or maybe not even fist to fist in this case, but he does have some weapons with him. He has a pitchfork, he has a scythe, and he has... Um, uh, what is it? I think, um, ah, oh, shoot, I just had the name, um, ah, oh, shoot, um, a sickle, yeah, he has those weapons sometimes with him, he doesn't always have them with him, but you know what, I'll just give it, I'll just give him, give it to him, um, just, just because I want to make this more interesting. Another thing that Scarecrow doesn't always have, but I'm going to give it to him this time as well, is this, is his ability to turn into Scare Beast. Now, some of you may not know what Scare Beast is, and I will get to that in a second, but just before I mention anything, Scare Beast can only be unlocked whenever, um, Scarecrow really feels that he needs to defend himself or when he's under extreme duress. Um, but here's what Scare Beast is. It is basically a beast, like a monster version of Scarecrow. He loses all of his intelligence. Well, he's able to speak, but he loses his genius level intellect because Scarecrow is also a genius and does strategize pretty well. Um, but he, when he's in Scare Beast form, he loses a lot of that intellect, and but he does get an, an insane um, increase in strength and endurance. Um, so it's basically mostly what he uses if he really feels like he needs to defend himself, Scare Beast will be unlocked, and then he can basically, like, go, um, fizz, go, like, he can punch, like, it's basically superhuman strength and endurance. That's a really high, um, high increase for someone who just has, like, average level strength and endurance. So, you know, generally, he doesn't do a lot of fighting. In fact, while he does look intimidating, Scarecrow himself, Jonathan Crane, isn't all that, um, fearless. He, he is pretty, um, afraid, um, believe it or not. That's kind of ironic, but, you know, he's not that, um, brave. In, in general, he's not that brave, but he is extremely smart. He doesn't do a lot of fighting, though, if he really needs to fight. Fight. He does have some weapons on him. He, he can turn into Scarab Beast. Not whenever he wants. Again, it's just whenever um, he's under extreme duress or when he really feels that like he needs to defend himself. Um, and he does obviously have some martial arts with him, including Kung Fu. Um, but those are the main things about Scarecrow. So the main thing is that you, like, obviously, oh, um, another thing. He doesn't just have the fear toxin as a toxin. In the Arkham games, I believe, he also has um, some needles like some vaccines with him that can also apply the same thing and he has um a, a gas mask so that's pretty cool um so yeah that's the main thing about scarecrow those are the main things about scarecrow if i think of anything else i'll come back to him but now let's move on to mysterio now mysterio obviously he's a villain of spider-man um most of what he know most of what he's known for is illusions um he through his suit he can project different holograms which can like affect like the entire surrounding environment um these holograms are illusions they don't really do anything but they're 
they can still trip up an opponent, um, no matter who it is, you know, because the illusions are extremely lifelike. Um, he also does have most one of his um main abilities is like releasing smoke, um, to you know like make a quick escape or whenever he needs to like distract someone. Um, he also has different forms of gas. He has um hallucinogenic. Um, he has like hallucinogenic gas as well as um like what when scarecrow has but you know it's not like a fear toxin or anything it's just something that can make people see things that aren't really there so he does have some different forms of gas but that's the main one um yeah he also has um he does have an, i believe an enhanced level of strength not to the extent of spider-man like not nearly to the extent of spider-man but he is slightly higher in strength than most humans i believe he also does have springs at the bottom of his feet that allow him to jump really high and allow him to keep up with spider-man's speed um, so, and, you know, they can, they're also pretty good for dodging attacks as well. Um, so, you know, he does, he has a lot of illusions, he has a lot of illusions, he has a lot of, um, different forms of gas and smoke. Um, so those are the main things to Mysterio. There isn't really that much else to go over. He also is a very good strategist, um, and sometimes he does also have, um, I believe he also on his, um, they're like, I'm not sure if you remember, but there's like, um... Uh, what is it? It's like, there are, like, eyes on his, um, suit, and they can shoot out lasers. And if we're talking, like, real lasers, lasers can go at the speed of light. So that's, um, they're pretty handy for whenever he actually needs to fight. He doesn't fight that much, unfortunately. It's more so that he, he needs prep time to come up with a good strategy, or he just uses his own, um holograms and illusions in order to fool other people. But then as soon as someone actually finds him you know, like someone like Spider-Man, it's really hard for him to actually win anymore because, you know, he's not that good at fighting. He does have, I believe, an above um, l above average level of combat experience, like combat skill, um, but not to the level of Scarecrow. For, I, I might as well just mention that there now. Not to the level of Scarecrow and not to the level of, like, a, a ton of other people, like, probably not even to the level of Spider-Man. Um, so, you know, th those are the main things. He also does obviously have that fishbowl head, um, which is something that he can see out of, but people can't see through. It's something that has a 30 minute supply of oxygen, which means that, um, no gases will affect him. He, and it's, no gases can really get through, um, the fishbowl. So, you know, that's, an that's another thing to, um, to point out. So, th so just going over it again, the main thing about Mysterio is that he has illusions, he has gas, he has springs, he is slightly stronger than most humans. Um, he does have the lasers coming out of his um suit and yeah that's and he has his fishbowl head so and he is a good strategist he is he is pretty smart he's not like overly smart but he is like a good actor he is a good strategist he wanted to be a tv star but he didn't have the looks or talent to do so um though he is a pretty good actor um, so yeah, those are the main things I have to say about um, Mysterio and Scarecrow. I know that the info, um, the information section went a bit um, quicker than most information sections, but really there isn't a lot too much to these guys. Most of them are, sorry, not most of them, both of them are pretty much one-dimensional, like they have some gas and they have some other stuff going for them, but most of it, they're just one-dimensional. Um, so now we have to think about, who, now I'm going to think about who I, who I think would win. And... I can see some people saying this. Oh, you know what? Scarecrow's going to win because as soon as he uses his fear toxin, bam, it's done. You know, Mysterio's not going to be able to think clearly and, you know, just um, Scarecrow's going to win. However, I think that Mysterio would win this fight. And I'm not saying this out of bias or anything. Again, like I've said many times, in case you're new, I might as well say it again. You know, I'm not biased towards anyone or against anyone. Um, but let me please just explain why I think Mysterio would win. The first thing is that you have to think about, like, the, like, will the gas actually affect the other person? And from what I believe, their gases won't affect each other. Um, and here's why. First of all, it's more, it's easier to explain why Mysterio's gas and his hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic, am I even saying that right? His gas won't work on, um on Scarecrow. The main thing is that Scarecrow, in, at least in the Arkham games, he does have a gas mask, which allows him to be basically unaffected by it. And even if he doesn't, um, originally he did have a suit, like his suit did allow him to protect himself from his own toxin, which I'm assuming would also allow him to, um, I'm, I'm assuming it would also allow him to protect himself from other forms of gas. If it doesn't, well, you know, he still has the gas mask, and there's really no way that um, Mysterio can get past that. Now we have to think about would the fear toxin and the fear, like, you know, the needles, the vaccines, would they actually work on Mysterio? Now it's ob now this is easier to explain um, with the with the gas first. Obviously, it's not going to work because Mysterio has his, has his helmet, his fishbowl. Nothing is going to get through that. He does have his oxygen supply for 30 minutes. Obviously, like, there's not going to 
be a realistic fight that's going to go on for 30 minutes, not with these two characters. So the gas isn't going to work on Mysterio. Now, if we're talking about the vaccinations, I find it hard to believe that the vaccination is even going to, like, get through Mysterio's suit. Um, and even if it even if it could, Mysterio does have ways to get around that, even though he's not going to know what it is. You know, if it's like a vaccine, he's going to he's going to want to avoid it because um, it's it's lying in plain sight. You know, like it's not something that like that um, Scarecrow just immediately pulls out. You know, it's like it's lying in plain sight. He's going to notice it. And what he's going to do is he's either going to like use his springs to get above and he's going to be able to dodge very quickly. Or what he's going to do is, you know, he's just going to um, use the gas to make a quick escape. The point is, I don't see either of their gas working. Working on each other. That's just my opinion anyway. If you guys think otherwise, please tell, please, uh, please tell me in the comments below. I really want to know why. Um, but now let's talk about the other stuff. So basically, the main thing that Scarecrow has is his gas. That's what he's mostly known for. And without the gas, Scarecrow doesn't really have that much going for him. Sure, he does have some weapons with him, but he doesn't have that much experience using them. Both of these characters mostly work behind the scenes, or at least Scarecrow doesn't do much of the fighting. He, he normally just uses the gas on the victims, or and like he tortures them. He doesn't do much fighting, and Mysterio works more behind the scenes. Um, but the thing is, Scare Scarecrow's gas is the best thing with him. It's the best part of his arsenal. Where whereas like Mysterio, we see that like okay, he might not be able to to use um hallucinations with his gas, but he's still able to use holograms, and he's, he has much more control over the battlefield. He's able to, like, use, turn the battlefield and make and make his opponent think whatever he wants them to think. He can make, like, holograms of pretty much anything he wants, and, you know, they're really lifelike holograms. They're really lifelike stunts and um, illusions, and Scarecrow's not going to be able to tell the difference, really. Even with his high level of intelligence, he's not going to be able to tell the difference. And if we're talking about, like, Mysterio's hiding, like, behind the scenes, or he's, like, he's just hiding out somewhere while like his his um holograms deal with scarecrow you know he he also has um his lasers and again if we're talking about real lasers these things go at the speed of light if he gets behind scarecrow scarecrow's not going to be able to survive that and it's going to go very quickly it's uh, like i could see this fight ending fairly quickly if um if mysterio plays it smart and hides and hides out pretty much, he's going to be able to avoid anything that Scarecrow throws at him. This this can't really be decided by anything going fist to fist, because that's not what these two characters are mostly known for. These two characters are mostly known for their own illusions and their own gas. Now, Scarecrow's illusions can only come from his gas, and that's something that's not going to be able to work on Mysterio. I don't think it's going to be able to work on Mysterio at all. But then Mysterio not only has hallucinogenic gas, but he also has his own illusions. And again, that's going to give him much more control over the battlefield. It's going to give him much more control over the over Scarecrow, over his opponents. And he's just going to be able to confuse him too much. And Scarecrow's not going to be able to think clearly. He's not going to be able to keep up with everything else that Mysterio's doing while he's keeping Scarecrow occupied. Like, this is, I, I think this is fairly close. It really just depends if Mysterio is going to be playing it smart or not. And the other thing I have to know, I have to think about is Scare Beast. Now, Scare Beast, from what I know, doesn't turn back into Scarecrow until Scarecrow is beaten. Although beaten is kind of a weird term to use. When is someone beaten? Is it like when he's knocked out? Because, you know, like, you can't say, like, you know, he's beaten when he's dead, because if he's dead, he can't really turn back, you know? Well, I guess he can, but he's still dead. You, you, you guys know what I mean. Like, I'm guessing it's when he's knocked out, which is something I don't think um, Mysterio would be able to do without killing him. But like I said, this can't be determined by a fist fight. This can't really be determined by martial arts. Where, whereas I do, I do think that um, Scarecrow is, does is better at martial arts than Mysterio is. Um, Mysterio is probably still stronger and and has more mobility. But anyway, that's not the point of this anyway. If we're talking about Scare Beast. Again, it's not something that can decide this battle. And if the illusions weren't going to work on Scarecrow before, they're definitely going to work on Scare Beast. And I'm, I'm assuming that Scare Beast isn't durable enough to withstand lasers. You know, still, with, I'm still talking about the lasers and stuff. And even with the smoke, you know, I just think that, again, without the gas, Scarecrow is completely useless. Like, Scarecrow's uh, other abilities are completely useless because these characters aren't going to do much physical fighting. But with Mysterio, without his gas, he still has so much going for him. He has the illusions, he has the smoke, he has the lasers, he has everything that he needs in order to finish off Scarecrow quickly and effectively. But anyway, guys, that's how I see it. I can technically see this fight going either way. I just think Scarecrow, no, I just think Mysterio would win more times simply because he has more going for him. If you learned anything through this video or if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Comment down below if you think Scarecrow would win, if you think Mysterio would win. Tell me why, because I really want to know. Obviously, I'm not going to get any, 
anything. Obviously, I'm not going to get everything correct. There will be some things I'm going to get wrong. I can already tell. Um, but if you guys like want want to tell me who you think would win, please tell me why. And um, I am taking requests for the Christmas season, which is the next season coming up. So if you guys want to um, leave your thoughts about like you know like a Christmas um, episode, um, please comment down below. Please try to limit the number of requests you give me um, because I'm not going to be able to do them all. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone gets at least one. Um, but you know that's just um, that's just because you know there's only ten episodes. So you guys have to make sure that you guys have to be um, nice to each other, and you have to make sure that everyone at least has a chance of getting in. Because you know like if each if like there's eleven people that suggest um, one, you know that even that's not even gonna work. But you guys know what I mean. Um, but anyway, you know, and also subscribe if you could. That would honestly be so great. That would really help me out. I'm doing this show, who would and why. Um, Fairly, fairly frequently, I'd say. Um, but you know, you know, if you want to subscribe, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, but anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy this episode. Um, if you want me to do more stuff with, di like maybe different costumes or stuff like that, or maybe just keep the same one, um, please tell me. Um, if you didn't like this, also tell me in the comments below because I don't have to keep doing this. If you found this distracting, or even like the the darkness distracting, like here I can turn up the um the brightness. This is about what it usually is. If you guys um think that's better if I keep the brightness up or if I um like not if I don't wear a costume, please tell me why and please tell me that, you know, like please tell me if that's the case. Um but anyway, guys, I, I, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Start sorry if I stuttered a lot. Um I don't know why, maybe it's just because this costume is um making me pretty hot. Um but anyway, again, I hope you enjoy this episode and I will see you in the next episode, which is Morbius going up against Solomon Grundy. So see you then. See you later and have a good night.